tight double agent Judas Jezza, aka the crackhead Colonel Corbin, the so called leader of the opposition to the Tory scum, aka Blue Kip, switch sides like Soul Campbell. Since we're heading back into the medieval times anyway, then crackhead Colonel Sanders, Boris Nonsen, and Nazi Nige, aka Earthworm Jim, all need to be locked up in the tower awaiting punishment for treason. All these scumbags have lied to the public for personal gain. So don't get it twisted, whether you voted remain or leave, we all got shafted. We got common enemies. Funny how Earthworm Jim was all over your TV screen pre-referendum. Now it's where's Wally? Now all of a sudden he's missing that Rupert Murdoch's hairline fam. I'm just waiting for the McCanns to write a book about it. Make a few more million quid, why not? Both him and that gelatinous kiddie fiddler nonsense have no idea where your 350 million NHS money went. Meanwhile, Blue Kip are stripping that shit down and selling it for parts to the highest bidder. Judas Jezza, the so-called socialist, supposedly campaigned to remain and then bullied his own cabinet into backing the Tories. How you look like in your democracy? The crackhead colonel gets on my train, he'll be riding on the floor again. I'll lay him out like knife and fork. I got a full silver service waiting for man. People out there genuinely think there's a big difference between the electoral system in America and here. There isn't. Same shit, different toilet. Nowhere in the constitution does it say the US is a democracy. You know why? Because it's not. It's a republic. And we have first past the post here to make sure that we don't live in one either. Certain men are sleeping. FPTP means there's no direct correlation between the number of votes a party gets and the number of seats they get. So you can win a general election on a minority vote. And it's happened. Don't sound like a democracy to me. Is that not how we got that peroxide bag of what since Donald Trump? Or am I missing something? Because Killary got nearly 3 million more votes and still lost. But you lot still screaming about democracy. Democracy don't exist. This is an elective dictatorship. Fuck what you heard. FPTP makes sure smaller parties ain't getting a sniff. Because you could have a big national following, but unless you got a big concentration in one particular area, you ain't getting a seat. Trust me, you got more chance of getting a seat on the London Underground in rush hour or winning the Premier League in a Liverpool shirt, fam. In 97, the Tories got nearly 20% of the vote in Scotland and didn't get one seat. So if you're a small independent party, what chance do you really have? Loving this democracy thing. All this shit does is lead to tactical voting. You want to vote for someone else, but you don't because you know it's a wasted vote. So you vote Labour just so Blue Kip don't win or vice versa. This is not a democracy, just like the US. Who even knew there was another party other than the Republicans and the Democrats? There's no need to know, because it's irrelevant. But there's man running around calling the EU a dictatorship. Guess what? Fake news. Members of the EU parliament are elected. There's no first past the post. No unelected house of lords or bishops in parliament. No unelected prime minister. But please, you knobheads, tell me more about your precious democracy. Reason why most people don't know this is because at school, for five years, they're teaching you useless shit you're probably never going to use again instead of politics. Leave school knowing how to sew a button on your shirt but don't know shit about interest rates or how to do your tax returns. Your broke ass can go to jail for a few grand, but Apple can owe over 14 billion dollars and it's cool, paying taxes for broke people. In woodwork, you ain't learning how to build bookshelves or install kitchens, you know. Man made a plastic bag holder fam. Am I a prick? Geography was banter teaching man about tectonic plates and shit. Most of these men still think G is the capital of Germany. Most of these men only use their passports to get into nightclubs. But when inflation dissolves your already shit wages, it's gonna be X Factor Saturday nights for you, and it's a no from me. Fuck Simon Cowell, fuck Labour, fuck the Tories, and fuck the system. A lot of working class people voted for Brexit to stick their middle finger up to establishment, but guess what? You fucked yourself. But what's done is done now. If you want to see some real change, 2020, don't vote for the Tories, don't vote for Labour. Turn this shit on its head. It's a new day. Fuck how your parents voted. Labour used to be for the people. It ain't no more, so fuck them. And the Tories have always been cunts, so fuck them too. Both of them parties are fucked up this country beyond recognition. Most people don't even know who the Lib Dem leader is now. But you know what? It's worth a fucking shot. What's the worst that could happen? Only 37% of the electorate and 26% of the population voted Brexit and they're calling that the will of the people. If you could find me a test with a 37% pass rate, I'll kick my mum down a flight of stairs fam. 
these same local MPs that were meant to be the voice of the people in Parliament come from boroughs that were majority remain and still voted Brexit. But what about the will of the people? Guess what? The people don't matter. They've never mattered. And democracy is a myth. You don't need to wake up and smell the Vaseline, fam. This is broke back Britain. Everyone's getting fucked. Judas Jezza's probably thinking, fuck it, let's vote Brexit, ruin the country, then I can blame the Tories for this mess and get votes. A one problem. Nobody likes you, you cunt. By the time the next election comes around, you'll be one far away from a Zimmer frame. That delusional decrepit needs to call it a fucking day. Good while now since the referendum and there's still not a shred of evidence to suggest that we're going to be better off after Brexit. You know why? Because we won't. Meanwhile, we got Silver Spoon, phone tapping, warmongering, kitty bum bum buggering MPs and an unelected prime minister running the country. Happy days. Ransom Bants. Ransom Bants. Make sure you like the vid, share the vid, tag your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Add the snap, add the Twitter, add the Insta, all of that, all of that, all of that.